driving for about two and a half hours. If you listen to some Suzanne Vega, Stone Temple Pilots. And where do you put the accent? Stone Temple Pilots? Stone Temple Pilots. Jackass by Beck from Odalay. Modern Love by Peter Gabriel from Blue Car or One. Caress Me Down by Sublime. Strength Beyond Strength by Pantera. Quite a bit of David Bowie. I listen to some stuff from Hours. The song, the opening track, Thursday's Child. Heard a really good cut off of Low. I can't remember its name. You're just a little girl with gray eyes, but I'm in the mood for your love. You know the one. I heard a track off Pin Ups. You know, Pin Ups, I never really, never used to really get into that album more and never let me down back in my real heavy duty Bowie listening days. I gotta say, Pin Ups has a few good tracks. Never let me down, fucking great, man. It's like, I'm just shocked that the Bowie fans have done it such a disservice. And in the title track, Never Let Me Down, is one of my favorite songs of all time now. now a couple tracks in the presets came on, those were working for me. Dumb Dumb Boys by Iggy Pop from The Idiot. I listen to uh, Champagne Supernova, I had to turn it off. And I'm not a huge Oasis guy, but they have, uh, they have like three really good records. I really do like that song, but it just wasn't working for me. I tried listening to Elbow's new song, because Elbow's one of my favorite bands, and I saw they had a new song that I hadn't heard listen to it. Didn't even make it all the way through, which is disappointing. Also, I heard Roxette Joyride, but I didn't hear it on the drive. I heard it in, if you can believe this, in uh, Target. A couple Pulp songs off of His and Hers came on. All right, that's enough. Hypnotized by Biggie. New York State of Mind by Nas. Good Thing by Fine Young Cannibal. I might not even make it to Vegas. That's where I'm going, by the way. I'm starting to sweat in here. It's all right. I'm doing it for you, baby. It's all for you. It's all for you, Damien. Look at me, Damien. It's all for you. Yeah, I've done a lot of thinking today. I mean, music can really trigger stuff for you. Trigger alert, trigger alert, safe space, trigger alert, trigger alert, safe space, trigger alert. No, I don't mean it like that. Uh, I guess, oh my God, it feels so fucking good just to roll down the windows and drive it through the desert though. Oh my God, just, just feel it vicariously through me. Can you just feel it's Friday? I don't have to do shit in terms of trying to make money for two days here. I'm not gonna be spending money on gambling. I just don't do that. Sometimes I get really confused about the past. You think about people and you just wonder things. You wonder, was that really like that? Cause you know, I don't know about everybody else, but I have a tendency to do this rose colored glasses bullshit. Shit was not all, all, all rose colored like we like to think. By the speaking of rose colored glasses, great song by School of Fish. Yeah, you remember the past. And I start thinking about people, I start missing them. Some of them are guys, some of them are girls. I'll be honest with you, the ones I miss a little bit more are the girls. Burn me once, you shoved a stick in my ball sack. Burn me twice, you shoved a soldering iron up my dick hole. It's like, let me over, you piece of shit. When I go on a road trip, I get into this nostalgia. You start thinking and you think, oh man, that one. I just, not, not that one, not that one. Yeah, no, no. You don't know them. You don't know any of them. I mean, maybe you, you could figure it out. Some of you watching, who's gonna watch this? Who even gives a fuck? We're gonna get 50 views. Uh, I'm gonna cool down again. No, not, you don't even know who I'm talking about. Gary, now this one now, nobody knows. A certain frailty, a certain innocence, and yet such outwardly bold, disdain and distaste for most things, such hatred for most of humanity, such negativity at every turn. What did I like about her? What did I like about her? Was it her appearance? Yeah, yeah it was, that's part of it. Was it her unique musical prowess? Is that how you say that? Prowess? Right? Prowess? Yeah, that was a part of it. Did, was, did I think, wow, I've met my match. Did I think this is gonna work out? Did I think, oh wow, this is really scary because when things start going like this, whoo boy, there's gonna be some fucking sacrifices coming around the bed if you stick with it. And then, it all ends for some reason. What's the reason? You know, man, this person was a fucking problem causer. This person was a trouble starter. This person was pretty mean in a lot of ways. And it's not who you're thinking of. No, 
It's not you're thinking of. And yet sometimes you take a long drive and you just think, man, I miss that person. Is it a disease I have where I think back fondly on people who might not have been that great after all? And maybe the good times weren't all that good? Or is that something we all do? Because I know people who don't even want to think about the past. I think about that motherfucker all the time. And I don't mean the person. I'm referring to the past as the motherfucker. The girl I'm talking about, oh my God, it's a girl. Now you know, Jesus. I don't think about her all the time. I don't find myself thinking, oh, I wish she lived with me in Los Angeles. I wish things had worked out better. Because you know what, man? In reality, things gonna work out the way they gonna work out. And that's kind of all there is to it. Yeah, you both have a part in it. Yeah, you both have a, a limited, let's call it a modicum of control over the situation, over the <clears throat> relationship. A term I'm not particularly fond of. Yeah, you both have a little bit of say, or maybe even a lot. But at the end of the day, if the personalities aren't mixing and matching and melding well, then guess what, asshole? It ain't gonna work out. But it's kind of it's kind of classic Peter to not think of the past in its truest form. And I suppose we all do that. The grass is always greener on the other side. Absence makes the heart grow fond. I'm not gonna send her an email. I don't think, am I? Am I gonna, no, I'm not gonna send her an email. For what? So I could get like some mean litigious response? No way, man. You get those mean litigious responses in your email, they stress you out, they tear you up, they rip, they rip your asshole to shreds, quite honestly. You see them and you think, oh God, no. And then you, you feel like you're gonna respond to them. You wanna say something clever or you wanna dip out and yeah, man, you know, some people, there's some personalities that just want to fucking devour you. You know what I mean? There's some that just want to, they want to annihilate your being. And I say that as an atheist. They want to annihilate the whole of your person. W-H-O-L-E. I wonder what, on an evolutionary level, or even a psychological level, what function does that really serve? Oh, wait, I know what it is. I'm so goddamn lonely all the time. This is by my own doing. This is by my own choice. I've chosen to be alone for some reason. But guess what happens when you're alone? You get fucking lonely. That's just part of the deal. And some really cool stuff happens. Some really great stuff can happen in that space, in that lonely space. And I think there is a psychological mechanism in me that starts feeling really desperate and lonely and starts thinking, oh God, I should send a uh, email and try to connect again and just tell them how much I admired them as a human being. Tell them tell them how great I thought they were and that I, I hope everything is going really well for them in Zimbabwe. But some people, you just can't do that. You can't send a friendly email to because they're the kind of person that wants to harm you. They want to say something mean. They want to win. They always have to have the last word. They're going to be coming out on top of whatever stupid, pedantic argument they bring back in the first place. When little old you was just trying to say, hello. They're going to come out with a, an assault rifle. They're going to come gunning for you. And it's going to be in the form of a mean email. And then you're going to block their email address. Let me fart. Ugh. And then that email is going to go to spam. But guess what? You're gonna see it anyway, because you're gonna click on the spam because you're so activated. You're so activated. You gotta know if they emailed you. Moral of the story, it's kind of nice. I kind of like thinking of people that I knew in the past. And I think fondly on them when you're not in the middle of the bullshit anymore. really an asshole. Yeah, I got some problems. Yeah, I have some enemies. Last year, goddamn, dude, that was 2018. Made more fucking enemies than I can't even tell you. Including you. How deep. How profound. Yeah, 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 yeah.